Welcome to the 2013 Snack Food Association Circle of Honor Induction Ceremony. The Circle of Honor, or SFA Hall of Fame, was created in 1994 to recognize the best of the best among the people who built our industry and association. To date, the circle includes 21 members from the ranks of snack manufacturers, vendors, and consultants. This year's Circle of Honor program is sponsored by CP Flexible Packaging, Jividan, Packaging Corporation of America, and TNA North America. Now sit back, relax, and watch as we present the 22nd member of the coveted Snack Food Association Circle of Honor. Impressed with the fact that funeral homes in most small towns were among the nicest buildings around and obviously housed successful businesses, the young graduate from Canton Central Catholic High School decided he would become a funeral director when he graduated from college. But after an internship at a local mortuary in Canton, Ohio, Bob Shear decided quickly that being an undertaker was not in his DNA. Instead, a couple of months after graduating from Walsh University in North Canton in June of 1974, Bob joined with his parents, Jack and Rosemary, and brother Tom in a new snack venture. That year, the Shears, who operated a third generation grocery store, bought a one truck Wise Potato Chip distributorship from its owner who wanted to retire. The Shears began building a business and Bob settled in learning the ins and outs as a route delivery salesman. By 1979, the Shears had five routes and decided it was time to make their own potato chips. They moved into a 2,500 square foot freestanding building and purchased a used 125 pounds per hour potato chip fryer. The rest, as they say, is history. Bob Shear took charge of manufacturing and soon discovered there was a lot he didn't know about making potato chips. Fortunately, before we started manufacturing, I had a potato broker call on me and he quickly educated me on the technique for ordering potatoes that were used for, for chipping. And I soon learned that they weren't the Idaho baking potatoes that we sold in the grocery store. The chips were originally sold under the name Grandma Shears Kettle Cooked, but shortly thereafter, it was changed to Shears. Not only was it challenging, but it was fun. And I'm not just necessarily talking about the snack food um, industry, but I think if you talk about, talk to anybody, um, that I think they'll say the most fun they had um, in starting their business and growing their business were the early days. Shear said in the beginning, it was always a learning process. I got to, you know, unload the potatoes. I could, you know, I could peel the potatoes. I could fry them. Um, you could run the packing machines. You could deliver. So you were, you know, you were HR, you were uh, marketing, you were sales, you were manufacturing. Bob Shear did every job with a passion and he instilled a passion for quality and service to all of the people around him. And with the support and help from his parents and brother Tom and a growing number of associates, the Shears brand grew its manufacturing and distribution facilities. In 1982, it moved its manufacturing facilities to a 20,000 square foot building in Brewster, Ohio, and continuously expanded the plant to produce kettle cooked and regular potato chips, as well as other snack products. Within the first 15 years, the business expanded to about 100 route delivery trucks. In the late 1980s and the 1990s, the company broadened its reach into contract packaging and private label. By 2000, the company had around 500 associates and was a major snack industry player, producing product for a wide range of retailers and snack food companies across the country. While Bob was driving the growth of the Shears brand and its private label business, he was also building a relationship with a talented young woman named Melissa Kean of Cincinnati, whom he met at a horse show in Mason, Michigan on Memorial Day weekend in 1983. Both were showing horses in the same amateur classes. Shearer not only had a passion for snacks, but he was also an accomplished rider. Melissa, also a competitor, was a professional photographer focusing on the equestrian scene. When we ended up even going to the world show that year, and I think he was world champion uh, Western Pleasure Horse, and I was third in English Pleasure. So, you know, it was a, you know, our love of horses and being outside, and um, you know, we just uh, enjoyed the relationship a long time before we 
thought about getting married. They were married on March 21st, 1992. Four years later, Melissa came to work at Shears and eventually became Vice President of Communications and an important contributor for the fast-growing company. With Bob Shear promoting the concept of sheer perfection in everything the company did, from producing the best quality products, especially its signature kettle-cooked potato chips, to protecting the environment, there was no stopping the sheer steamroller in the new millennium. I think the sheer perfection, obviously, is the quality of the product that we make, but I think it's the quality of the people that work at our company. It's the quality of our suppliers, our vendors, our customers. I think it's one of the things that we do for the community. I think it's our reputation that we're a company that gives back to the communities in which we work and live. Bob Shear says when you take all of those things together, they epitomize what sheer perfection in every bag means. Despite the challenges of running a fast growing company, Bob Shear began putting the same passionate effort into the Snack Food Association. He served several terms as a director and in 2005 as chairman. You want to make a difference and uh, I felt that you know some of the things that I had the opportunity to work on during um, my year as chairman and then the two years prior to that and then the two years after that were probably some of the things that were really helpful in getting the association on really solid ground from a financial situation. Today, Shear is a great fan of what the association accomplishes. One of the things that I've always been real um, impressed with is that in the last five or six years, as the economy took a downturn, that the Snack Food Association, I think, was one of the few associations that still had strong conventions, they still had strong membership. That just didn't happen, but I think it's been the help that we've had from day one with strong leadership in the association moving it forward in the right direction. At the same time, Bob was devoting his boundless energy to SFA. He was also working to mold the shears of the future and develop an exit strategy for he and his brother. In 2005, the company sold a portion of the firm to a private equity fund. A year later, Shears opened a production facility in Lubbock, Texas. And we outgrew that private equity group in less than two years, and then we had to go to market again. In 2010, Shears built the world's first lead platinum snack plant in Massillon, Ohio, and acquired Snack Alliance of Hermiston, Oregon another major private label snack producer with plants in Hermiston, Oregon and Bristol, Virginia, essentially doubling the size of the business. It also made substantial investments in its flagship plant in Brewster, Ohio. In 2012, Shears moved its corporate offices to downtown Massillon, Ohio, near its new Millennium plant and massive distribution center. It was twice named Snack Food Producer of the Year by Snack Food and Wholesale Bakery magazine. In October 2012, when Winpoint Partners acquired the company and the final Shears interest, it had roughly 2,000 associates, was the largest maker of kettle cooked potato chips in America, and the largest private label and contract packager of snacks in the country. All of this was a tribute to the pursuit of excellence fostered by the retiring Bob Shear. No one in the company knows Bob Shear better than Steve Surmay, who started as a teenager in the distribution department 31 years ago, and now, is a senior vice president. Though Shears went from a million dollar company when he started and now does 500 times that figure, Surmay says this. Today versus back in 1982 has really been virtually unchanged. Um, you know, it really started with quality. Um, it started with service. It was always important to make sure that we delivered the products on time and, you know, to our consumers. Um, value of you know how do you how do you deliver that product at the best conceivable cost uh, that we could do and always pushing to do better there and then really um, you know the fourth plank would be capital and that would be both human capital as well as equipment it was the best of everything um, it, it never really has changed President Scott Smith who also is outgoing chairman of SFA joined Shears more than a decade ago as chief financial officer he describes Bob Shear as a classic entrepreneur. He remembers his first afternoon on the job and how Bob prodded him. So what, so what do you think we should change? What, you know, what do you think we should be doing? 
differently? What are your, you know, what are your ideas? And uh, I just uh, admittedly probably wasn't completely prepared uh, to work uh, for somebody like that, but it, uh, you know, it was great. Smith said Bob Shear had a real passion for the people and the product. It was really a culture of, hey, we're, we're all in it together. Um, you know, it's a, it, it's a family and, um, you know, we're, we're creating something bigger than ourselves. Melissa Shear says folks have been trying for a long time to figure out what makes her husband tick. She says. I think he's a very unusual person. He's very dedicated to whatever he is doing at the time. The business, you know, when we were at Shears, that was just all encompassing of his life. And, and now the things that he's moved on to, whether it's showing the horses or playing tennis or playing golf, um, he throws himself into everything wholeheartedly and, uh, and just doesn't quit until he's got it all figured out. With horses, golf, tennis, and a new consulting business for non-snack enterprises, which he enjoys immensely, Bob is anything but retired. Because I always worked hard um, when I was at Shears, but it seems like I've been working harder the last, it's been about four months now that I've been retired. No one who knows the dynamic founder and former CEO of Shears would expect any less. For his contributions to the snack food industry, the communities in which Shears operates, the Snack Food Association, and to the environment, and for helping his associates do and accomplish things they never dreamed they could do. The Snack Food Association is proud to welcome Bob Shear into its coveted Circle of Honor.